Hello everybody. Today we're looking at the Hylic MS6612 light meter, or I guess they called a Lux meter. Here's what we got. It just showed up. I got it uh, from China Mail uh, off of AliExpress for $27. And uh, let's take a look at it. It, it came in a, a, a fairly sturdy box, came inside of a, a carrying case. And here's the actual unit itself. It requires a nine volt battery, which was not supplied. So I just put a nine volt battery in there. And one of the things to look at is it has a, a cover that snaps on and fits on there pretty securely. As I showed you, the, the zippered case has a nice zippered case. And in the top of the zippered case was the user's manual for this digital Lux meter. Well, let's take a look at this unit. We hit the power switch and it beeps once and comes on. Kind of see where it says Lux, but we can uh, press this uh, button right here that says LXFC and it'll read foot candles. Let's go back to Lux. We can actually press this min max and it'll do a peak reading. If you put on uh, max, it'll do a, a peak hold. Uh, the RAN means range and that's what we want to do manual range. Right now, you can see we're in auto range, it says auto, and that seems to work pretty well. Uh, there's a, a hold and a zero. If you want to hold the number, uh, if you cover this thing up and then press z uh, the zero, uh, it'll zero it out, although it seemed to be pretty well zeroed out when I got it from the factory. Try some stuff with this. So right now it's reading, it says oh, about maybe 345, 347. So anyway, I'll press uh, relative. So now it's showing uh, re uh, relative. So as you can see, it's like minus one, minus two. It's kind of going up there. If I put it in a dark area, oh, look at this. It says minus 125, minus 200. Oops, let's get this on frame so you can see it. You know, minus uh, 212. And then as I give it more and more light, not now uh, I even got a better angle. It says plus 23. So uh, th that's how that works. If we quickly press the hold key, it does a hold, and you can see the number doesn't change. Now, if we hold it for more than a, a certain amount of time, it'll zero. So let me put the, 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 the cover on. So anyway, right now we got the cover on, so it's not reading anything. And uh, you can see it's an auto, and we're not uh, very little uh, light received. And I'm going to hold this for a couple seconds. Now it's saying 80J. And that means it's zeroing out, and it takes several seconds, and it'll just off, and then it should come back and read zero, although it really wasn't out of uh, calibration very, very much. Oh, there it goes. Okay, zero. Here, so I'm going to press the range button. You can see where, by pressing it, every time you press it, you're in a slightly different range. If you want to go back to auto, hold it for like a, a, a second, and then it'll go back to auto. I searched online and found out that this is identical to the Maztec MS6612 and was able to find a manual online by googling uh, the part number. Here's the battery door. You can see the Phillips head screwdriver and there's the, the, the simple battery door and has, like I said, 9 volt battery. You can see it's made out of a, a sturdy, dark, hard plastic. And this orange plastic, slightly softer, but still a fairly hard plastic. Seems to be pretty solid. Okay, and I talked about the, the Max Min. I'm going to press uh, Max. And then if I bring it up really close to the light, there it goes. I guess when I got up close to the light, you can see we got up to about 838. So that was uh, Max. And the way you clear that out is you go back to where it says peak. Peak is the, the normal one. Okay, we went to relative, now peak. Now, now peak is the, the normal mode. You know, where it says auto, everything's normal when, it's, uh, when you press the peak button. Let's go try the min function. Okay, now it says max. Now it says min. And now let me just uh, kind of a little down there. Not, not totally closed off the light. I didn't really do much. Well, it says down to 0.94. Now, just to, to really test this thing out, I'm going to turn the light off all the way. Oh, there it says zero. And I'm going to take that off. And now it's down to zero. So, well, I guess that works. All for a, a cheap uh, instrument from China. It seems to work pretty well. Uh, no complaints so far. I think I'm pretty happy with it. I guess it's worth $27. And... Uh, 
you know, this, this is it for the, the Maztec slash uh, Hylic uh, MS6612.